offered you our water, which gives us life, and our fire, which gives us valor. We offer you the measuring rod, with which you will separate out the righteous and grant them access to you.
Water is the gift of the gods. So we offer up our water on the sacrificial altar. And thus shall we contemplate the grandeur of the gods. The light of the sun is a fire that forges the will of his servants in the furnace of the desert. We offer you the sacred fire. Grant us the grace to contemplate your countenance.
How Ayana expelled the gods from their dwelling place and kept the earth close to them, keeping behind her works and creatures, and how Spenta Manu watches over the earth from the sun, and Ayana dwells on the moon to watch over the night from there. From that time on then, the succession of day and night reigned over life on earth. Offered you our water, which gives us life, and our fire, which gives us valor. We offer you the measuring rod, with which you will separate out the righteous and grant them access to you.
having offered you our water, which gives us life, and our fire, which gives us valor, we offer you the measuring rod, with which you will separate out the righteous and grant them access to you.
This is Ryazan, the Amber Gem, guardian of the sword, the legacy of Narim, golden symbol of the sun. by the incantations of the priests was safe from the orcs and bloodthirsty trolls. But its sacred interior was desecrated by... In the dark times, when the gods still dwelt among men, the followers of Shathra, god of metals, ally of Angra Manu, Prince of Darkness, raised a fortified temple in the heart of the dormant volcano. Centuries thereafter, the temple was fitted out as a fortress, where the great smiths of old forged the finest of weapons. Nergal, the maker, chose the safety of the volcano to preserve the black gem, the sacred obsidian. But as the years passed, the fortress fell into disuse, and the gem was forgotten.
Ugh. <sighs> 